With the rapid development of data services and the emergence of various electronic products, such as tablets, mobile phones, smart wearables, and smart home devices, broadband services are penetrating into our daily lives, and the number of broadband users is increasing rapidly. In the face of the huge and complex broadband network, effectively implementing refined management of users becomes crucial. Carriers hope to provide one access server to connect to multiple hosts, and this access server is expected to perform access control and accounting for each connected host. Among the many LAN networking technologies, Ethernet is easy to deploy and cost-effective, but it cannot authenticate the identities of communication parties. The conventional PPP protocol can provide well-designed P2P access control functions, but cannot be applied to broadcast Ethernet networks. In response, PPPoE was developed to apply PPP to Ethernet. Now let's take a look at PPPoE access on a campus network. A campus network has a large number of users who frequently access the Internet, and the data traffic is heavy. PPPoE access enables schools or carriers to perform independent authentication and accounting for each user. Users enter their username and password on PPPoE client software and then access the Internet after being authenticated. This mode of user access is similar to conventional dial-up Internet access and maintains the same user habits. PPPoE provides the dynamic IP address allocation mode. Users do not need to perform any configuration, and it is easy to maintain the network using Campus NMS. Not only this, the online activity of students on the campus network can be effectively traced using the allocated IP addresses, making campus management easier. In addition, the roles of users on a campus network are complex, and their permissions and the network services purchased vary. With value-added services such as EDSG and DAA deployed together with PPPoE, different types of users can be given different access permissions and bandwidth resources. There are two common deployment modes of PPPoE. The first is applicable to the campus living or office area. All users share one account, and separate accounting and management on each user is not needed. The fixed PPPoE dial-up software must be installed on the CPE to initiate dial-up. The second is applicable to the dormitory area. Each user uses an independent account and needs to be charged and managed separately. Each user device must be installed with fixed PPPoE dial-up software to initiate dial-up. With PPPoE, a remote access device can provide access services for hosts on an Ethernet network, and multiple P2P connections are established on the Ethernet network to provide control and accounting functions for each host. In the next generation IPv6 network evolution solution, PPPoE access enables both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses to be assigned to users. The cost involved in reconstructing the legacy network is low. Currently, PPPoE access is the most mature and widely used mode for user access.